7 Innocent Items in Your Bedroom That Kill Your Sex Life They look innocent enough but these everyday items wreak havoc on the average couple's sex life. Banish them from your bedroom and you're instantly in store for better, more frequent sex. One, a TV. Couples who have a TV in their bedroom have sex half as often as those who don't, that's a fact, supported by reputable research. The good news is, most people don't have a telly in their bedroom anymore, because they stream stuff on their laptop. And that's just as bad and. Two, your laptop. How can you possibly stop binging on those highly addictive box sets when you're already both tucked up in bed? It's kind of like you're sleeping, right? Wrong, and continuing to watch way past your bedtime means the chance of a nighttime knocky is even less likely. Three, your tablets and phones. Ditching the laptop won't do a thing if you replace it with another device to distract you from sex and each other. Slip into bed and automatically pull out your phone and you instantly destroy intimacy. If your partners spent all night on their phone, giving other people attention, why would you want to give them yours if the phone reappears the minute they slide under the sheets? One recent study found it's especially harmful if one person uses technology more than the other, the second person feels ignored and insecure. Neither are emotions likely to trigger a bit of rumpy pumpy. Four, a soft, lumpy bed. The best beds for good sex are firm with no hard edges. You need a firm foundation to master creative sex positions and to be able to sit or lean on the edges without hitting anything hard. Clean, fresh linen is inviting, scratchy, scruffy, balled up sheets, not so much, though there is something undeniably sexy about a bed that you both have had sex in.
A few firm pillows are perfect for lifting and supporting body bits to make sex super comfy and those more adventurous positions more doable. Five, Euro LD track pants. Well worn, snuggly track pants and woolly socks might make us feel cozy when it's cold outside, but they do little to get your partner hot and bothered. I'm not suggesting tottering around in high heels and sexy stay-up stockings on Monday nights but aiming for a happy medium by choosing something that's at least a little flattering isn't too much to ask for the weekends, surely? 6. A huge pile of washing or ironing. Nothing flattens desire more than looking at your to-do list when you're deciding whether or not to have sex. Eyeing off tomorrow's washing or ironing is bound to make you think do you know what, I'm tired and I've got loads on tomorrow. Sex isn't on the cards. Seven. A door without a lock on IT. If you have flatmates, children or ever have guests to stay, a lockable door is a must. Anyone who's ever had sex with one I trained on the door, convinced any second now someone is going to barge in, knows installing a lock on the bedroom door can be the sexiest thing your partner's ever done for you.